Hey, this is Alex with Grow How. I'm here in Utah. Uh, the area where I live and most of the state is considered semi-arid. We like the term desert and there is a lot of desert in Utah, but uh, where I'm at is technically semi-arid. We get, depending on who you talk to, in my location, 12 to maybe 18 inches a year on average of water. Now it's hard to see here but this gutter is uh, essentially full. You get too much more rain, you'd be kicking outside the gutter, which it's made to do that, that's fine. Today is a moderate rain. This isn't a heavy rain. I want you to look at all that water and think about how long it would take to gather enough to start putting water into that planting area. Now, this is new i haven't done anything with it yet because hey it just got installed this year and uh, it's going to take me a lot of work uh, but if you think about it if you could do a cutout on that curb kind of like uh, a ramp to a sidewalk maybe just a little bit lower and if you were to lower the soil level in the mow strip next to it you would be able to gather a huge amount of water on just a medium rainstorm it's been going on I don't know how long I've been up a couple hours it's been raining since then uh, I could have gathered I don't know how many gallons for this whole sidewalk area if I had something that was designed properly I would like to do that the problem being it is illegal because this isn't my gutter this is the city's gutter and I appreciate it it's a new gutter they just put it in um, it's going to solve a lot of problems, but it's not going to collect any water. If you look right there, right through there, a little bit of water is coming down, probably from my driveway. And I've got a puddle sitting right there. Oddly enough, there's a bunch of weeds there. Follow it through. And i got this site. Oh just draining water um, and this is going to go into the storm drain system and out into our local lake look at all that water it's water that i can't use it's water that's not adding to anything in this neighborhood it'll go down to the lake that's fine but it's not even going to recharge our aquifer which is normally what would happen over this whole road area and again, all I need to do is put a cut out from here to about right there, take it all the way down, and then I can put a small um, bit of concrete there to create a puddle. Wouldn't actually impede the drain except to drive water in where I can use it. Now in particular, this area is prime for it because my soil is already low. So I just take out the rock dig out areas to pool the water in and, and place that soil back where it's already still low and I wouldn't actually have to do much taking out of the soil again this is a wasted area I could put more bee food here which is what this is or I could put something like columnar apple here and I could have production from it and again that water would recharge our aquifers uh, which it's not doing now. Something to think about. All I need is somebody saying I, I can actually do it legally because hey, my neighbors would get really mad if they found me doing something sensible with an area that's otherwise, <laughs> this has not been used since they put the rock in it, except for the plants I put in, uh, which my neighbors tried to kill. Very, very friendly neighborhood. But again, we can make it productive. It's Alex. This is Grow How. Please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And in this next year, I want to talk a lot more about water conservation. I've had a bad drought, and it's not over yet. Catch y'all later. Manana.